Hi, I'm Jaden with Ziegler Ag Equipment. I'm the Ag Territory Manager out of the Minneapolis area, and uh, I'm here to talk to you about the new 7, MT700 Challenger. Uh, I made a lot of changes on it. Some of it's going to be the numbering on the side. This, is, this model here is an MT740, which is a 400 horse tractor. There is also a 738 and a 743. What they changed on the numbering, the last two digits, you had a zero to it, that's going to be the horsepower. So this is the MT740, uh, and I'm going to talk about some of the features and changes they did. So up front here, they changed up the cooling package. Uh, they actually, what they did is they decoupled it from the engine, uh, put it on its own uh, oil system. So what it, the benefit of this is, is it can hydraulically reverse. So guys who are pulling grain carts, a lot of times you always have the front of the, front of the radiator screen is always getting covered with stocks. You can set in the cab uh, how often you want this to reverse to clean that off so you don't have to get out and continually clean that. Uh, and with it being decoupled from the engine, it burns a lot less fuel, uh, not having to run a belt fan. Um, moving around the side of the machine, uh, another big change to the, to the MT700 is the undercarriage itself, the mobile track system. Uh, they, they lengthen the track out. It's 101 inches uh, on the ground now. And what they did is they changed the roller setup. So the rollers now, uh, previously they always had where it was just these would be walking here and then this one was by itself. They, they made them all uh, connect now so when you actually go over a bump, they actually mold to the ground, keeps your ground contact better, uh, it gives you more traction, and your ride quality is going to be better. What they also did is they moved your hard bar up here farther forward so it, on an MT700 uh, roll crop platform, it's not going to be as tippy forward and it's going to give you a better ride. If you come inside the track here, you can look at the suspension, what they changed. We used to have a marshmallow su suspension in here. Uh, it's basically a rubber, rubber puck that would dampen your ride. Now they changed that to a coil over spring, and what that's going to do is that's going to absorb a lot of, a lot of uh, any harsh uh, bumps you're going to hit. Then they got a shock that's going to help that as well. Um, looking at the track itself, this machine has a 25-inch general egg belt on it. Uh, the belt options they're going to have for these machines, you're gonna have a 16, an 18, a 20, a 25, a 30, and a 34 inch track. Um, you're gonna have the general eggs in all those widths, and then your extreme applications are gonna be in, in some of those width tracks. Moving around to the back, we'll talk a little bit more about what changed on the transmission side of this machine. So the engine up front is a 9.8 liter, and this machine now has a CVT transmission, uh, they call it the AccuVT uh, transmission. What that's gonna do, instead of before you'd run your RPM and you just shift up gears, this is gonna work, the engine and the transmission are gonna work together. So your RPM is gonna stay where it needs to be in its torque band and it's gonna go to the speed you want. If you go to speed up, if it doesn't need any engine RPM, it'll just speed the tractor up and it'll regulate the RPM where it needs to be. What, what that's gonna do for a farmer is it's gonna cut down your fuel costs, your engine RPM is not going to be running real high. When you're looking at the back, looking at the hydraulics, that's changed up as well. Uh, this machine uh, has a 58 gallon per minute hydraulic flow. So your 58 gallon per minute are going to be for all six valves. If you go to the high flow, that's going to be now two 58 gallon per minute pumps. One 58 gallon per minute pump is going to control your left three valves. The other 58 is going to control the right three. Uh, that, that's going to really help in planning application where Let's say you want to have high pressure circuit on this side and high flow on that side. You can move them around uh, to make your hydraulics more efficient. These tractors are going to come with a three-point standard as well as a 1,000 PTO. This is a wide gauge machine, so it's going to be out to 120 inches on center. If you look up above, you're going to see the cab. That's changed a lot. You're going to see the lighting. You're going to have LED light packages on them. Uh, it's going to be a full 360 lighting. And the cab is changing to the same platform that all the machines are changing to. So once we get up into the cab, you're going to see a lot of the features that are going to change. If you want to walk around to the front, we'll, uh, we'll actually move up into the cab now. I'm up in the cab of the new MT700. Uh, a lot of things have changed from our previous models. We're going to have the new Accu Terminal. Uh, this is going to be have uh, auto steer capabilities in it now. So you're going to be able to run WAS or all the way up to RTK accuracy. Controls on the side are also going to be a lot different. Uh, you're going to have the buttons over here. Everything's going to be color coded. Orange is going to be engine and powertrain. 
Uh, blue is your hydraulic, white is electronics and auto steer, and yellow is PTO. Kind of did a brief overview of the cab. If you want to learn any more about it, you can stop by our Farm Fest booth till 4 o'clock today or tomorrow from 8 to 4. Or you can also stop by a Ziegler location. Appreciate watching and have a good day.